I'm Megan Grevy. Here's a look at the Monday, May 5th edition of the Herald Press. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, on our top story, we take a look at, for the first time in, um, in quite a few years, since at least since I graduated in 2010, um, companies are actually saying they're willing to hire uh, new graduates. More or more companies are saying that. And actually, um, uh, Northeast Indiana is one of those areas where there's a, expected to be a lot of job growth in the next um, in the next couple years. So that's really exciting for people who have gone to college and who are about to graduate. You know, the economy is still a little little shaky, so it's encouraging for them to know that they have a better chance of uh, of finding a job once they get out of school. And also, tomorrow's paper. Speaking of universities, Huntington University is a theater company presented its annual one act play festival or its one act festival. On this past weekend, there were four directors um, who were students, and so they got to, you know, do a short plays, and it was you know, like a pretty, pretty fun time. Um, also, in tomorrow's paper, there's a house, or I'm sorry, there was a garage fire that damaged two houses earlier today on Sunnydale Drive. Um, so there were no injuries, but there was some damage done to some houses and the uh, garage, obviously. Um, so for more on that, check out Monday's paper. Also, we have a campaign. Uh, answers from a few um, people running for election, including um, county council, um, I don't remember who's in here, the auditor, and a superior court judge. And then we're going to run one on Tuesday that has the surveyor and, and the county commissioners. Um, also in tomorrow's paper, there was a sh uh, foot pursuit that resulted in a Michigan man who had been wanted on uh, charges of probation violation uh, this morning in Huntington. He um, he was caught. He was pulled over by an ISP off, or Indiana State Police officer, and then um, ran out of his car and tried to hide, um, according to a press release. And but they were able to find him in about 20 minutes. Um, also in tomorrow's paper, Tony Thrasher went to the Taste of Spring event in Warren, which they have every year in an effort to raise money for some uh, little pocket parks they've been working on for the past few years. Finally, on the Farm and Business page, the Purdue Extension. Um, across the state is celebrating its 100th anniversary. Its 100th anniversary. Of it. Anyway, um, and so we talked to um, Ed Ferris at the Purdue Extension about all the different things that um, the Extension does. He says a lot of times people think it's just the 4-H fair, but there's so much more that they do. There's the Master Gardeners program, there's the Cooking with Love program, there's there's a Ag Day, there's all kinds of stuff that they do out there. So that's kind of what this year is going to be about, is just making people aware of like all the cool things that the Purdue Extension does. Um, in sports, the Huntington University baseball team won in 13 innings to stay alive in the um, Crossroads League tournament. So they were pretty excited. That was a long game, but they were able to to um, pull out for a victory. And then um, in high school sports, the Huntington North High School Lime City Relays were this weekend, which is here in Huntington. The girls finished third, and the boys team finished sixth. Um, in softball, the softball team beat Anderson 18 to three and 13 to nine over the weekend. And the baseball team lost three to one, but then came back and won four to two against Muncie Central. So they are now one and one in the NCC. And finally, the golf team finished fourth at the Rochester Invitational this past weekend. They're set to play or have another home meet match, whatever you call it, golf, um, on Wednesday, I believe. So that is a quick look for at the Herald Press for Monday. We invite you to pick up a copy to read more about these and other stories, especially to get some more information on that uh, some of those candidate questions if you are undecided about who you're going to vote for still. All right, have a great day.